What's up everyone, Kate is here and today we're going to talk about Jet Farm Builder CAPTCHA settings. So guys, there are two types of CAPTCHA settings that you can set up within the Jet Farm Builder plugin. Global and individual for each form. Global settings can be found in Jet Farm Builder, Settings, CAPTCHA Settings tab. Here's the place where you need to enter your site and secret keys. Let's click right here to open Google reCAPTCHA page. Basically, this is your admin console where you can register your site for reCAPTCHA. So let's start with entering the label. I'll go for Tutorials. Good. Now here we get to choose what type of reCAPTCHA we'd like to use. Jet Farm Builder works best with reCAPTCHA v3, so basically it verifies requests without any user interaction. Ok, here we can add the domain, and we can enter it using the example. Good. So, the owner's part is already pre-filled, but you can actually add another email if needed. Now, what we have to do is tick this box below to accept the reCAPTCHA Terms of Service and click Submit button. Right here are the keys that we can copy and paste into the global settings of Jet Farm Builder plugin. Ok, so let's copy the site key and paste it right here. And now let's go back for the secret key. Copy it and paste it right here. Good. Ok, so this part is all set up and now we can proceed to our form to see how we can apply these settings. Follow to forms. Either add a new form or open the one you have already created. On the right hand side you will see a Jet Form section with the CAPTCHA settings tab. First thing we need to do is to enable the reCAPTCHA v3 form verification. Now we can either use global settings, the ones that we've just set up. If we toggle it on, it will automatically apply both of the keys to this form. So this makes the process easier for you, right? Just enter the keys once and then simply toggle this option to apply the CAPTCHA. But what if you want to use another site in secret keys for some reason, thus apply a different reCAPTCHA to the form? It's very simple. Just click right here, fill out the form, get the different reCAPTCHA keys and paste them into these fields. Simple as that. Ok, so let's update the form and proceed to the front end to submit the form. Let me fill it out, please. Good. Now we can click on the Submit button and there you go, works perfectly fine. Thanks a lot for watching this video, I hope it was useful and informative for you and your projects. If you still have any questions left, go ahead and drop them right in the comments below this video or contact our support team so they could assist you. Have a lovely day and take care!